Hi everybody. Welcome back to Jenkins Boatworks. I am Chuck Jenkins. In this video, we get back to work on this super snark. I'll warn you right now, there's a lot of sanding in this one. I cut out a lot of it. <laughs> uh, I sped up a bunch of it. But I do think it's important to show that kind of work because if you want a good quality outcome, you have to put in the effort. So in this video, we go from our initial fairing uh, to a second fairing and then various ways on how to sand it. And uh, it took pretty much all day today to uh, get us to the point where we are smooth enough that we should be able to start doing our fiberglass work. And that should be the next video that we do. Uh, it, it's easy to get carried away and I'm a bit of a perfectionist. So sometimes you got to get to a point where you say, okay, that's good enough. And I believe that's where we are now. I'm super happy with it. Anyway, um, we're glad you're here. And uh, if you like the video, I would invite you to subscribe, comment, or share. And uh, let's jump in and see how we make our, our next progress. So when we last left the snark, we got a lot of total fare on here. And we've had an awful lot of sanding since then. Orbital sander, mouse sander, and a lot of sanding by hand. You see here, it looks a little wet. I wiped it all down after I vacuumed it with a mixture, just a little bit of alcohol and mostly water. We still got issues. You see these places here? Some up here was where we had that original big crack. And I'm starting to sand into the foam here, so I, I'm quitting. We're gonna put another real thin coat of total fair on here. I got a couple of places I still gotta sand a little bit before I do that. Down here, maybe right there, but I think that just needs to be filled. So anyway, it's coming along really nicely. Transom's looking pretty good. We're gonna put a real thin coat on there and then we'll go back and give it a real nice final sand. Something else I'm working on is on the rails down here. Um, I've used thickened epoxy and filled that in. There's a spot here where I ran out of my thickener up near the front, so I still need to fill that in. Once we do that and get it re-sanded, I think we're going to be ready to go ahead and start doing the fiberglass work. This turned out to be quite a bit of work, but... It's looking good. All right, got some stuff in from Total Boat. Ah, more silica. I was out of this. Happy to see that. Yeah, well. And uh, uh, some more Total Fair. So that's good. Sent me a little spreader. And I'm going to need that. <laughs> it's like Christmas. Oh my, okay. We got some total boat. Uh, this is five to one. 
And more total fare. These are the smaller ones. I'd gotten the pint, or this must be the pint size we'd gotten the quarts before, but that's good. And we got the pumps for the uh, for the epoxy and more spreaders and a bunch of mixing cups. And I like these because I may mix this by volume, not with the pumps. Um, I don't know. I've had good luck with the pumps. So anyway, you ever see that progressive commercial where the guys like you can't stop becoming your parents? These are nice boxes. <laughs> I will save them. All right. So we've done a lot of sanding on this and, and uh, we're going to do a final fair. I learned a couple of very strong lessons with the first coat. Um, I got it on there thick. I didn't get it smoothed out very good. And as a result, I had a lot of sanding to do. A lot of sanding. In fairness, um, fairness, fair, get it? <laughs> um, I did have to put it on pretty thick because we had such irregularities and such deep craters in here. Now, I'm mixing up small batches. I don't want it to go off. I want it to be movable, and I am using this, this wider, more flexible uh, spreader. And so when I'm going on here now, I am doing the thinnest coat I can to cover just enough, but to fill in these little tiny holes that are left, like that. There's still a big hole there. This one place where the ants had eaten up on there. Um, and we're just gonna go over it and do it. Now I'm, I'm being pretty methodical about it. I've done to here. So we're just gonna keep working back. Come where I have it done and then keep the spreader low. Just drag it. Try to keep from creating lines with the with the point of the spatula. Because that's just something else that, that's imperfect that you have to sand. I'm sure there's people out there that do body work like on cars and that sort of thing and they use similar product to this. And they're probably watching me going, oh God, this guy doesn't know what he's doing. It's a learning process. So we got this sanded down from the initial fairing coat, and then we put a real thin coat on yesterday. Filled the holes, little pinholes. Just got a nice smooth coat on there. And this is so smooth that I don't think it's gonna take much sanding and we should be ready to put fiberglass on. That's looking cool. Back here at the transom. 
Looking pretty good. All right, we are gonna do some sanding. I'm using a flexible sander that I made. I just made these handles with a, just pieces of uh, just pine, just regular lumber, and I used a hole saw and I cut them out, sanded them off. Very thin piece of plywood here. I actually think that's cedar. I made this a long time ago. I'll try to link uh, uh, when I made this. And then I've just got, uh, this is 150, it's, it's body work. It's sticky, it sticks on the bottom of there. I do have a real thin piece of cork on here that uh, gives it a little bit of cushion. And man, that just takes it down in a hurry. So we got 150 grit and then we're gonna go to 220. And uh, that's knocking it down in a hurry, boy. It's just getting real smooth. We're going to be ready to fiberglass in no time. I'm using this high tex abrasives. It's a uh, 2.75 inches, two and three quarter inches, 40 yards. It's in a roll. So you pull out what you need. Sticky on the back. Cut it off with scissors. Just put it right on there. <laughs> that's way more effective than the orbital sander it's kind of hard work but it's going way faster i think i'll vacuum this off it'll be easier to get more in there once there's not any dust on there
Are you saving me from the vacuum? Huh? Are you going to save me? Huh? This is my Festool sander, and I've got a flexible head on here, it's like foam. So when you're going around curves and whatever, you're not digging into it. The sanded by hand is really effective, but it's really tiring too. So you kind of alternate, do it by hand for a while, do this, and it's nice because it's got the vacuum sucking up dust. So anyway, it's a slow process, but uh, you can kind of lose yourself in it, so that's kind of cool. And the better job I do now, the less I'm going to have to do once I get the fiberglass on there. The fiberglass and epoxy will be somewhat forgiving, so if I've got a couple of little tiny nicks or holes or whatever, um, the fiberglass and epoxy can kind of fix some of that. Um, but the smoother we are now, the better finish we're gonna get later. So when you think you're done, well, take a break for a little bit, then come back and do some more. It's looking good. If you like the video, remember to like and subscribe. We'll see you next time.